This is Mo Murphy from Clark County Sports. We're here with Trey Tenari on senior night after their big win. I don't like saying the score, but it was 66 to 6. Uh, big night all around. Uh, Trey, can you just talk a little bit about the game and how you feel on your senior night? Uh, it was a good night, and uh, you know, being senior night and all, it was nice being out here, seeing people, you know, with what's going on and everything. Um, we had our uh, seniors in the second half. We went in and out, and we got a standing ovation. So, I mean, we hung 66 on them. You can't really complain. It was a good night. And uh, things will tighten up a little bit next week. You guys head down to Page County. What do you think about those guys playing down there? Uh, we had a close game with them last year, but I believe we're going to have a great week of practice, and we're going to go out on there, and we're going to take care of business early. All right, well, you heard that from Trey Tenary. We're going to get some seniors in here tonight. So a great game for Trey, and uh, happy senior night. Thanks a lot. We're here with Wynn Morris. Wynn, congratulations again on senior night. Had a nice touchdown on the interception. Can you just talk a little bit about the game? We played well. It was a great team win. Our coaches gave us a lot of preparation. We were ready, and we knew what we had to do to come out and win, and we, we did it very well. Everyone played well. And what kind of emotions were running through when they when your parents walked out with you? It's special. It's special. It's nothing like football. And then even in this year with COVID, I mean, it's really special to walk out my parents in front of a crowd. And uh, like I asked Trey, what do you think about heading down to Page next week? They're a tough team, but I think we're going to be prepared and we're going to spend all week getting ready. And I, I have confidence in us. All right. Well, you heard that from Wynn Morris. He had a interception for a touchdown tonight in this big 66 to 6 win this is mo murphy from clark county sports thanks a lot we're here with luke brumbach luke you had a big game tonight a big game last week as well senior night can you just talk a little bit about the game uh well the coaches did a really good job of uh preparing us for it we watched a lot of film we had a lot of reads and keys that that they told us about, and I think it worked pretty well, and we did a good job. And like I asked the guys, uh, what kind of feelings did you have when, when you came out with your parents knowing this was your senior night? Well, it was special. I've been playing for five years, and finally to get to this, to this moment, it was pretty nice. And uh, I know you guys have knocked heads with uh, the Page Panthers before. What do you think about this game coming up next week? Uh, I think we're a good team, and we'll be ready for them. Hopefully we'll come out as, as the victors. All right. Well, you heard that from Luke Brumbach. He had a big night tonight, as his brother Sam did. And we'll be heading down to Page next week. This is Mo Murphy from Clark County Sports. Thanks, Luke. All right. We're here with the Eagles head coach, Casey Childs. He gets his first win at the Felt on senior night with a big win over Stonewall Jackson, Casey, can you just speak a little bit about tonight's game? Uh, it was another great effort by our kids. I'm uh, really proud of them. Uh, like we said, it was senior night, and uh, everything we, everything we, our kids did was try to get these guys a win on their senior night. And ultimately, uh, all the kids got involved again, which is great for our program. And then the ultimate goal of ringing the bell. So I think that's it was a great night for uh, Clark County football. And uh, I know Paige is going to be a step up from the first two games. I don't want to talk down the other two teams, but I think Paige is going to be a little tougher battle for you guys. Have you seen any film on them yet? No, Paige opens up tomorrow. So Paige plays Madison tomorrow. So uh, we're going to get a look at those guys and, uh, you know, we're going to break our film down and, and uh, you know, do our grading and get our kids better. And then we're going to worry on Sunday morning with uh, Paige. But, you know, they're definitely going to be a good opponent. It was a great game here last year at the Felt uh, that we were able to win 10-7. So, uh, you know, Joey's doing a good job down there getting those guys turned around, and uh, we're expecting a good one next week for sure. All right, well, you heard that from the Eagles head coach, Casey Childs, as they go to 2-0 and with a big 66-6 win over Stonewall Jackson, and I don't like that 6-6-6, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> and we'll see you next week at Page County. This is Mo Murphy for Clark County Sports. Thanks, Mo. Thanks, Mo. Bring the bill. Thanks to Randy Tenary for my, being my cameraman tonight. We're signing off from the felt.